Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your blogger website. Now these are basically image links. So when we click on any of these images, we'll be taken to a particular link. We can set which page should be linked to these images. And we also have this hover effect for the images. Now if you want to learn how to design this from scratch using HTML and CSS, you can watch my previous video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code. So in this video, we're just gonna add this design to our blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and we can add this design to a post or a page. I'll just add it inside a post. So let's click on new post. And you can add a title over here. I'll just type about us. Now the next thing you have to do is you have to click on this button and click on the HTML view. So by default, it will be in the compose view. So just select the HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML and the CSS. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag and I'll just close it over here. And here in the style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go to the source code. And uh, let's go to the CSS file and let's copy all of this CSS from here. And let's go back and paste it over here inside the style tag. Now the next thing we will do is add the HTML. So Let's go outside the style tag and let's go back to our source code and let's go to the index.html file and let's copy everything inside the body. So I'll just copy everything from here till the end of the division and let's copy it and paste it over here inside the blogger post. Now the next thing you have to do is update the link of the images. So right now we can see that in the image we have the src set as images slash one dot jpg. Now we don't have any folder called images in our blogger website and we also don't have this image called one.jpg so we have to first of all upload the image inside the blogger post and then add the link over here so i'll just make some space over here and uh, let's go over here to this button called insert image and let's click on upload from computer and let's click on choose files and here we can see these are the three images we need in our design so let's select all of these and uh, let's click on open and let's select all these images and click on select and here we'll just select original size and click on ok and here we can see all the images are uploaded over here and we can see the links of the images over here inside the href attribute right now we don't know which images are which so let's go to the compose view so let's click on this button and click on compose view and uh, here we can see all the images. So this is the first image. So here we can see this is the our services image. So let's go back and uh, let's right click over here on the image and click on copy image address. And uh, let's go back to the HTML view. And uh, here in place of this first image link, I'll just delete this from here. And uh, let's paste the link of the first image over here. Now we will do the same for the second and the third images. So let's go back to the compose view and uh, let's right click over here on the second image and click on copy image address. Let's go back to the HTML view and uh, let's paste the link over here. And now we need to have the link of the last image. So let's go back to the compose view and uh, let's right click over here and click on copy image address. Let's go back to the HTML view and let's paste the link over here. Alright, now we can safely delete all these uh, images. So let's select all of this and let's delete all of this. Now you can go ahead and upload any image you want over here and add the link in the SRC. And if you want to add a new link, you can just copy and paste this anchor tag and paste it down. And then you can go ahead and change the text to whatever you want and uh, just add the link of the page over here in place of this hash. All right now let's click on publish and confirm. Right now let's open this post and let's see how it looks so let's click on view and here we can see that the images are displayed over here and we also have the hover effects working all right if you decrease the width of the screen we can see that it is responsive and if we decrease it even more we can see that there are two images in a row and if we decrease it even more we have just one image in a row now the last thing we need to do is we need to set the correct height for the images so right now we can see that we don't have 100 percent height for this image so let's right click over here and click on inspect. 
and if you scroll down we can see that for the image links container image we have set a height of 100% but this line of code has been overridden by this line of code which says height of auto now that's because this selector is more specific so we have more elements over here body item v post body container and img but here we have just image links container and img so css always prefers the more specific styles so what we can do is add a keyword called important and we have to add the important keyword over here for the height 100 percent so that this line of css will be added always so for that you have to type exclamation important and now we can see for the images we have 100 percent height so let's add the css to our blogger post let's go back to our post and here we can see we have the selector image links container img so here in front of the height i'll just type exclamation important and let's update it and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have the correct height and width for the images and everything is working all right so that's basically how you add image links to your blogger website now as i mentioned earlier if you want to learn how to design this from scratch you can watch my previous video i will leave the link in the description of this video and i will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code to your website all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day